Hello there. A few months back I did a video of my last boat. It came to the time that I was getting older and expense and other situations here um, required that I sort of gave up the boat and uh, I said what I would do I would go fishing just locally from the shore. So uh, I did see a rather nice boat a few weeks back and I was very tempted this lovely weather but uh, sense did prevail in the end so I'm just going to do a little bit of fishing in my local creek. Now I've had fish while I've been at me mooring so I know there's some come up there so um, we're getting towards the bass season so I'm now going to give it a little go. Here I've got an, uh, an ice box, an isotherm ice box that I used to bring fish home in for tea and so forth and keep cold drinks in. And I decided to use this as my tackle box and this now is my boat. Everything apart from the, the rods that is, and I use two, and I'm using what I've got. Um, it's going to go in here. Now where I park the car and where I want to fish, it's about half a mile away along a little towpath. So I don't particularly want to cart this if it's got gear in there, so I've modified this this box, which isn't heavy anyway. I've put some wheels on the back here. These are just um, pram, pram, some pram wheels that, uh, you know, one of these little push trolley things that had uh, double, so there was eight on this little push cart cap, uh, arrangement. And uh, so I thought, well, they'll come in handy. And I found a piece of 3-8 uh, stainless rod, which I put through the bottom um, right the way through, a couple of washers, drilled these out the same size and just knocked them on, interference fit. There's no other fitting needed. Um, I've fitted a, a wooden block under here, as you can see, so that the whole thing sits level, because as well as being a tackle box, it's going to be my seat also. Okay, um, so the handle has got like grooves in here for strengthening. And I always use whatever I've got and I've found some oval, uh, well these were pieces of a whirly gig, a, a, a linen line, and I found out that uh, they, with a push, and especially with a, let's go up a bit, especially with a pair of pliers go in there lovely okay so that goes in also I'll give it a squeeze there we go you can see it's quite a good fit now they could be tied on but it's not really necessary it's such a good fit that this could be um, a handle to wheel the thing along so this represents the handle but at the same time it is two legs of a tripod where I intend to fish. The third leg is nothing more than a very light piece of aluminium tube bent one end and a hole drilled at the other end of this to make up the tripod. And then the head of the tripod is a piece of foam. I'll explain about that in a minute. Um, what I can do is I'm going to put a piece of foam on here, glue it down to make this more comfortable. So, I mean there's even enough room I'll be able to put a camera in here so who knows, it might give you some shots. I don't believe in carting an awful lot of gear. Most people buy far more than they need and you never use it do you? you use your favourite ones. You guys across the pond, I mean well, I'm not being insulting, but some of you, I think, are crackers with the amount of tackle you take out. Boxes and boxes of lures, all different colours and gaily coloured this and that. Well, personally, I, 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 I've come to the conclusion there's a lot of people that are quite crackers, you know. I'm going to, I know you're going to argue, I don't care, but I'm a firm believer that well over 95% of all fishing tackle is designed to catch the angler, not the fish. If the fish is taking the bait and it's gone through the lip of the fish, 
The fish does not know what's on the other end of the line, whether it's a 20 quid budget rod on reel, providing it's good enough, or something that costs five or six hundred pounds. doesn't make any difference. And uh, that's my philosophy, you know. Um, sorry if you disagree, but you go into any tackle shop, the walls are festooned with this gaudy plastic gizmos. Absolutely crackers. I honestly think you're crackers. You might say, what the hell do I know? Well, I'm only giving you my opinion. And all modesty tells me that uh, I don't know of anyone locally that does better with uh, bass fishing than I do. And uh, so I must be doing something right, surely. Anyway, the lid of, the, of this, I'm going to put a piece of plastic and hinged one end so we can put hooks and different things in these compartments. I'm going to put a drop-in piece of ply in there so I can attach me reels upside down with bungees. I've got some little lips on the inside here, I won't tip it up now, but a tray can go in there for other bits and pieces. So all in all we're getting pretty pretty organised. Um, I'll do a few pictures at the end of this just from me little camera from at the end of this video and which might help those who might want to try and uh, do things the way I have here but I'm a great believer in use what you've got I'm using the rods that I used when I had the boat and reels and they're perfectly adequate and uh, I see no point in, in, in spending vast sums of money it's not being tight it's being practical surely so you might like what I've done here, you might not. But for what it's worth, <laughs> I've upset a few. Never mind.